Hello everyone, welcome to a new uh, tournament video because I just won a tournament and uh, today is July 4th, so happy July 4th, but I'm not happy today because I fucking uh, recorded just 48 minutes of this shit, the commentary, and I realized how shitty my commentary was because I was so confused about, um, I was so confused about uh, the levels deep of uh, my own plays and my opponent's plays that I decided to just re-record because I was talking too much contradictory information and uh, I hope this version 2 will be better than version 1 which lasted for 48 minutes of nonsense and whatever shit and uh, so let's get right into it I have this uh, sand team which I was testing yesterday and I really 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 like it uh, I had Zatos instead of Skarmory uh, before, but after adding Skarmory, I actually pretty like it because it helps deal with Mega Deontay. So this is Spike Skarm, uh, Latios, uh, Scarfed, Mega Charizard Y, uh, Sandril, you know, this is a Smooth Rock, Stealth Rock, T-Tar, and uh, Spike Scalio. So let's get right into it. Uh, my opponent has a pretty strong team in the form of the Volcarona and uh, possibly Calm Mind. Uh, Latias, which is a bit threatening, but we do have uh, T-Tar to deal with it, um, even though it's defensive T-Tar, which doesn't really do that much to it, but let's go right into this. As I lead um, Charizard on his Landris, uh, decide to switch out into Skarmory here as he goes for the Rock Tomb. Uh, had to switch out there because I can't really take a Rock Attack. And uh, I just decide to Spike as he goes for the Rocks. I don't mind the Rocks or whatever because I always have a chance to uh, spin it away with Extra Drill. Um, so I just keep spamming spikes. Decide to go into Caldeo on his uh, Volcarona because I know he's not gonna uh, set up because uh, my teacher is still at full health. So I decide to go Caldeo because it covers uh, ground. Um, if he chooses to double, it's usually pretty good for me uh, because there's no way he would double into Latias on a T Tart or he's not gonna go extra drill on the T Tart either. So maybe he goes uh, superior, but either way. Um, I, I guess I concluded that this was probably fine with, for me. Decided to go for a Icy Wind here as he is Sash Landers, so that's something I didn't expect. I expect him to either be Scarf or Rocky Helmet, but uh, I Icy Winded covering both Latias and Superior. I know Superior does get the plus one speed and he's gonna outspeed me afterwards, but then again, I don't really mind because I could just go Latios and uh, deal with him with uh, Draco Meteor or something like that or Psychic. So, either way, I don't really mind that. But he just stays in and explodes. So losing Caldeo is not necessarily the best thing because T-Tar could be problematic or Extra Drill could also be pretty problematic for me. I decide to go into Extra Drill because I realized that he probably won't go into his uh, Volcarona expecting me to go something like T-Tar to set the sand uh, or be annoying or something like that. So I decide to go Extra Drill and just go for the spin here. And uh, he goes for the Leaf Storm doing some solid damage onto me, but I do get the spin off, which is the important part because um, I don't want my Char Charizard taking that much damage. And now I can just go into either Charizard or Latios. I've, I went into Latios because I felt like I guess it covers more, um, but in reality it doesn't really cover more. I know that doesn't make sense, but whatever. Um, and uh, I just decided to Draco again because I thought he wouldn't switch out. I, I know he does have a spinner, but. I thought he wouldn't switch it, switch out because he has that 12% uh, health, and I don't really have a switch into this either. I could go, I guess Charizard, but I don't want to get glared um, if I go Charizard. So I decided to just, you know, take my KO. If he goes T-Tar, so be it. Uh, pursue me, I don't really care. You know, you can just pursue me if you want. Um, but uh, yeah, the Dragon Dances. So this was one, also one of my other worries because he hasn't revealed whether he's uh, Mega Latias or Mega Titar. Um, so I, can't, I couldn't really figure it out from the team, really. So um, so I decided to switch out and not just stay in and blindly Draco and uh, let him set up to plus 10 billion. So Skarmory always covers ground here. Um, even if I switch out on his pursuit, I do get a free ass switch in into Extra Drill and Extra Drill is going to wreck someone with Iron Head. So regardless, I'm completely fine with the outcome of whether or not he's going to pursue. Skarmory comes in as he has nothing that can kill me. Stone Edge and Fire Punch both don't kill me. 
Uh, so I can just roll him and out into extra drill. And uh, I just stay in and uh, go for a roost because uh, if he goes for something like rapid spin, which is not going to kill me, I'm just going to get my health back and then start spiking again. Uh, so regardless, I'm very much fine with this position. And uh, the Iron Head is actually pretty good for him, so whatever. Uh, now I need to go into my uh, extra drill, I guess. I wasn't sure about how the speed mechanics work, um, so that's why I went extra drill. Um, because, okay, if you think about it, if I go Charizard, um, I don't know if I get the weather first and then my speed is faster than extra drill, or if the sand, you know, from the last turn carries on. So the speed, he's still faster, and then, um, and then, and then my Charizard is slower and he rock size and kills me. So that's why I go to Extra Drill here. Um, also, it does it out in the Latias, which uh, it's probably fine because I do have a T card. But either way, that's why I decided to go into my uh, Extra Drill and risk the 50-50. I was like, whatever, um, it's a 50-50 for one, and for two. He might be admin, so that's why I decided to go for that and not risk the speed shit because I kind of need my uh, Charizard for the uh, superior in a sense, so. I guess that's that. I just decided to go for a Earthquake here as he goes into the Latias. Um, and uh, I know he's going to for sure defog here, which would benefit him. Um, and now I just go for the Pursuit. Um, I, uh, I have rocks. And I know I probably should have went for it, but my thought process there was if he just stays in and Draco on my rocks, he could just spam defog afterwards and, I, and I'm just taking like damage for pretty much nothing. And in addition, if he switches out into some form of like extra drill, um, like it's gonna suck for me because I have no fucking way of dealing with it. So that's why I just went for the uh, the pursuit here. So his Latias, if not dead, it, it's pretty much guaranteed uh, almost dead because then it would be in range of extra drill. And judging from how he's unwilling to risk the speed tie, maybe he is adamant. I guess that was my thought process there. Uh, Ronix would certainly have help because uh, it wouldn't have allowed Volcarona uh, to really come in and set up again. But either way, the healing wish does allow Superior in. And uh, that's that. I also didn't consider that um, healing wish Latias is an option. So that's another thing um, I didn't really think about. So that's a failure on my part, but that's whatever. Um, and now I get up rocks because I know Superior has no way of killing me. And um, Charizard was this thing. So I'm not really worried. Uh, I just decided to go for a uh, Flame Dart here. The Z players. But fortunately, he doesn't get the paralysis. Flame Dart does a shit ton of damage, and uh, we're just gonna kill him with the next Flame Dart. Now he goes into. Okay, now let's talk about this turn. Cool, let's let this play and uh, stop here. Okay, cool. So, why does he go Volcarona on a Charizard? I really do not understand this play. I think he should have always went Tyranitar here. And the reason for this is. Sure, he could be afraid of the Focus Blast, right, or whatever. But he could just honestly Stone Edge here. Um, and because of how fat Titar is, with the screens up, <clears throat> even my Extra Drill is not going to kill his Titar. If he starts Dragon Dancing here, I am in quite some trouble. Um, not going to lie. I'm in like a lot of trouble, actually. Um, I don't think I have a way of killing this goddamn Titar. So I think going T-Tar and setting up is always the right option here. Uh, instead of going Volcarona, because Volcarona just gets hard walled by my own T-Tar. Which at this point, he should have revealed, realized that it's defensive. Because I got my rocks up. Um, so that's that. I decided to Stone Edge. Uh, and uh, you know, this Volcarona, despite being behind a rock, uh, behind like these screens, despite you know being probably uh, physically defensive, it's still not going to live a Tyrant Heart with no attacking but Stone Edge. Because uh, it's just that weak to rock types, most. And it's Tyrant Heart, so. And now, I look at the screens, 
whatever shit, and realize, oh god, there's only two turns of reflect that. So time really flies by very fast. Um, so that's good, because now I could just Stone Edge and Power Switch into the Extra Drill, Deflect ends this turn as he Dragon Dances, because if he stops Dragon Dancing, I mean, he could have went for like an Earthquake and kill my t -tart, but it just allows an Extra Drill and win to, to just beat him. Um, so there's there's that. Um, Alright, so I just decided to go Hard Extra Drill because he cannot stop Dragon Dancing. And uh, now Earthquake will pick him up. And uh, he goes extra, I go Charizard. Now watch him risk the speed tie. And uh, that's that. So, in my opinion, uh, I think his only misbite was, you know, not going to uh, Tyranitar first and just start Dragon Dancing. Because, for one, he could, you know, he could sell an edge into my Charizard and, and do whatever. But I think that's, like... I don't think I'm gonna hit a par par paralysis focus pass for one, and he could just stone edge and you know D dance on the uh, extra drill because at that point Sun was up and not the sand, and once he gets a DD up, he could just earthquake um, an extra drill to that. I guess I could try and set the uh, sand back up, but sand, sand back up, but I don't know. I think uh, the T tar was it was his best bet. Yeah, it's probably his best bet. But now let's go into game two. As uh, I brought this team, which I also really like. Okay, um, I think I let Kaldio here um, because it doesn't allow the Weavile, it doesn't allow the Menachem, the Extra Drill, and even the Dragonite here. So let's turn one, go for a Scald here. As uh, I, there's no reason not to click Scald. Uh, and uh, he goes Slowbro. I decided to Scald again because if I Scald Burn and he goes for Psy Shock, Slowbro's dead, or he's forced to like stack one of his other mods. So either way, I'm fine with it. So I just Scalded again. I thought he's, you know, forced to recover, but he doesn't recover and he goes uh, Magnezone. And now I just got like a free 77% off Magnezone, so that's really nice. I decided to go two Tornadoes on the Slowbro because I don't want to take like a Spec Splash Cannon or something. But uh, it's not Specs for sure, because he switched it in on the Keldeo. No one will switch Magnezone in on the Keldeo if it's not Specs. Oh, sorry, if it's not Scarf. Um, because, you know, you, you're just giving me a free kill at that point. So, and looking at the team comp, I guess Magnezone makes sense to be Scarf, um, too. Uh, and also, in addition to that, I don't want to take the Flash Cannon. Uh, on Hippaldon, but I decided to go Tornadus because uh, I think Volt Switch, I would live. But this ended up, I guess, not being such a good play, even though it looks fine, you know, afterwards, because he could just Volt Switch into Weavile Pursuit Trap me and I'm dead. So, uh, regardless, I think I made a bad play on my part, so even though it did end up being fine for me, so I didn't get punished, I guess. Um, knock off here on the Sobro. Uh, that's fine. As I go for the U-turn here, and uh, I think I went into my cleft because I don't want another thing getting toxic. He slacks off as I go for a flamethrower, catching the extra roll on the switch in. And that's just an obvious switch in. Uh, this is always a free opportunity to get in a power on, put some rocks up. So I decide to go to it as he puts up his, and I put up mine. He goes into Weavile, I don't really care. I just decide to go cleft. Because I do expect the double into Magnus Zone. I don't want to go Scizor here because, uh, you know, Scizor just gets trapped and I don't like that. So I decide to go Magnus Zone. Sorry, I decide to go Clef because it covers. It doesn't cover Magnus Zone, but what it covers is the ability to switch into something else, like Tornadoes here. Um, so that works out nicely. I decide to just U turn out because uh, there's honestly no reason to, to stay in. Um, He's for sure Scarfed, I could just U-turn into Caldeo if I want, and then spam Hydro Pump, it's going to 2 KO the Stobro with the Sand up and all that, so I think all looking pretty nice here, and I just go back to Scizor here. This does allow me the U-turn, which he sacks uh, Magnezone here, and uh, that's like everything's fine. If I were him, I'd just stay in with Stobro and, and, and recover. That's what I would do for sure. Um, but 
it doesn't. Hmm. Coin clap here on the on the uh, slow bro. Okay, let's talk about the previous turn. Uh, this turn. So my my uh, so I U turn into my scissor. Uh, sorry, I U turn into my Caldeo here. And the reason why I did that was because uh, Caldeo only allows in the slow bro. Metasham dies to Scald. We bought dies to Secret Sword. Uh, extra also dies to Secret Sword. And Dragonite, even though I don't have Icy Wind, he needs to be afraid of the Icy Wind. So he's going to respect all that and he's forced to go slow bro. And this allows me an easier production. Uh, I don't want to go Clef because it does, it just allows him an extra drill. And he can spin whatever Iron Hand, do all that annoying things. And uh, if I go anything else, like uh, Scissor, which seems fine, uh, it allows him something like Mana Sham and he can just AJK or some, some shit like that. So it's going to be annoying. So, oh, sorry. I can't go Scissor because I just U turn out of it. But if I go Latios, he's just going just to pursue it. Same thing with Torn. And uh, I guess Hippal done, he's just gonna go into either Slowbro and Rebound be annoying. So Kelio is the one that allows me to take advantage of the situation because I know he's gonna roll Slowbro. And that thing deserves no offensive pressure, so I don't really mind that. And I know Clef walls that for days, I could see him up and move blast and kill him, so that was what I was going for. Uh, I went into Clef on his Slowbro as he goes into Weavile. And I don't think that play makes a bit of sense at all because. I think Clef was the most obvious, which I know he's trying to predict the Latios. But I'm not gonna go Latios because even if I kill the Sobro, you're just gonna go Weavile and Pursuit Trap it. Like, it doesn't get me anything. So, uh, I think uh, that was a weird double. I do agree with him doubling because uh, he's so far behind, but I just don't think that's the right one because Clef is pretty much the most obvious switch in. And uh, him doubling into Weavile just gives me a free flamethrower on two legs to so that's also pretty nice. Going back into Hippo, I think he just spins. Yep, he spins. Uh, and so I decided to rock again, right, um, on the Metatrim Surgeon. And uh, now I just go back to Clef because I know Clef falls this. And uh, he AJK once hits me for quite a decent amount of damage. Decide to recover off as he misses AJK and he forfeits. I don't think this for I don't think this uh, AJK miss mattered at all. Because even if he hits, I'm just gonna, you know, keep recovering, and uh, I don't wanna give a fuck. And, um, you know, eventually he's gonna miss. Now, I'm, like, in such a good position at this point, I don't even think that matter. Um, like, I don't, I, I honestly don't think that matter. Uh, <laughs> Extra Drill could just win. Sorry, not Extra Drill. Scissor could just win. At this point. Um, yeah. I don't think that matter. I think this was, I think I win this game regardless. With perfect play, of course. I, I mean, I could, like, for some reason, throw away my Keldeo, you know, Paladin, all that shit, but... And I have Whirlwind, so if that setup, setup D-Knight ever becomes a problem, it should be fine. And I have Clef and Scissor, so... I guess that's game two, so up to a no. Feeling great. Going into game three, I bring this team. This team, I always bring this team, um, because I really like it. But now people are, like, actually knowing what this team is. And what this team does so people are knowing how to deal with it and that's starting to get annoying so i probably shouldn't be using this team this one but we'll see i lead uh tornado since he leads metagross i know i don't kill him with anything so decide to switch out into scissors i wall him um unless he's hp fire uh thunder punch does a solid 30 something percent damage as he goes from the brook break and i go just go for those healing up i decide to go for a uh hurricane uh, sorry a u-turn here as that does a solid 30% damage, allowing me back to Tornadus as Heatwave will kill now. So, I decided to go for it as he makes a great play and switches out into Manaphy. Um, I don't want to take in the Ice Beam, so I just decided to switch straight out into my Keldeo. And I know that he's going to go to the Azol, but I just need to break his Sash. Um, or at least that's what I was thinking here. So I decided to break his Sash and um, go Tornadus here, as Knockoff will just kill him. But he's for some reason called Burberry, and this is definitely prep. Um, this is for sure prep, because no one runs called Burberry Azol. And that is a, I, like, yeah, that doesn't make sense, but whatever. Flamethrower uh, does a pretty decent damage to Torn. Um, knockoff kills, and uh, now he goes Barbarical. And uh, this thing is a threat. 
And I know it's a threat. I can't superpower. I can't. Sorry, I can't superpower because I'm not gonna kill him. And uh, he's just gonna get, get like the free yes uh, shell smashes up, and uh, that's not great. So, what did I decide to do? I decided to go into Gastrodon because I thought, okay, liquidation, stone edge. What's his last move? Like Exeter, or like I thought it's like Exeter, Grass Knot, whatever shit. Even if he has Grass Knot at plus two special attack. Barbarical is like, what, 50 something? It's not gonna kill me, so I don't really care. Stolen Shed Liquidation is resisted by Gastron, so I decided to go, just go Gastron. I thought, you know, everything's gonna be fine. He shell smashes, I was like, yeah, Earthquake, pick this up, um, GG's. But, pulls out the, uh, the superpower, drops, drops in one. Gastron just unfortunately dies here. That's kind of sad. But now it doesn't allow in the Latios, and I can click Draco Meteor on, the, on everything pretty much. Uh, Metagross takes a solid 34%, even though it's resistant. Doesn't really matter. Uh, Scissor comes in as uh, Thunder Punch does uh, 24%. And uh, this is fine because I don't really care. Um, I can just roost up. Wrong. You know, paralysis, of course. Uh, and that sucks because now I lost my check to Metagross. Metagross used to be fine, I think. But now that I lost my check to it, it's not fine anymore. Um, it's really bad. And this also helps me check uh, Barbarical if it becomes problematic because Barbarical is neutral against uh, bullet punches. And uh, he's going to be at minus defense if he shell smashes. So I think uh, the roost, not getting the roost there is pretty important, but that is how the game is. Um, you know, so that sucks for sure. But I was like, yeah, I probably lose this one at this point um, because this scissor is my check to Medigross. But, you know, I'm just going to play on and hope for the best, I guess. I go into Latios here. I decide to go for a Draco Meteor. I just, I thought about going to Caldeo and collecting something like uh, Secret Sword. But the problem with that is, A, it allows in Superior afterwards, uh, if he doesn't go hard into it. And B, Metagross could come in and pick another one, so I don't like that. I decided to go Latios. I thought Draco Meteor wouldn't obliterate this, uh, this mana feed, but... Only took 64%. I'm not even kill with the next, gonna kill with the next one. And that's really bad. Uh, I think if I killed with the next one, I might have a chance. I know he's probably gonna go superior and set up screens and whatever shit. But at least Heatron would have been alive and, uh, you know, it could have been okay. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be definitely winnable, but it could be okay. Because, you know. It's... But regardless, Menifee is tanky and he can tank it up, so. And that sucks. Calio finally comes in, but as I said, this does just allows in the, uh, the Metagross and Darn Punch picks me up. Uh, I could go Tornas here and go for the uh, Heat Wave, but uh, I don't really think it matters because Heat Wave uh, and I miss her. Uh, no, I hit Hurricane, but it lives on 1%. So um, even if I kill this, I have no chance of winning, I don't really think, because he just can just go Barbarical. He clicks. Liquidation. Um, he either kills Tornadus or he does big damage onto Latios. Latios is forced to Draco Meteor. And at that point, Metagross comes in and uh, Ice Punch would kill like something like. Uh, or actually, he doesn't even need to sack Barbarical. He could just sack the Metagross and then go something like Superior set screens and then after that, Barbarical. You know? And then Shell Smash guaranteed wins. So he had to win, I think, even if that didn't then um, kill. Or if, sorry, even if that did kill, he had to win, I think. And now I go Latios as he goes Serp. Last last dish attempt. Decided to trick him. The choice scarf as I get the light clay. I thought he might just set the reflect or whatever. Uh, as he makes a great play and just goes for the leaf storms, and that's game. So. I decided to go for Trick because I have Serp and I, maybe that kills Metagross and Draco into Barrago will win. But, uh, you know, he makes pretty pretty good plays and, uh, and that's that. So, um, I think my opponent just outplayed me and uh, he has Barbarical, which is a threat. You know, and he has pretty good prep. So, you know, that's that. So, uh... Now I have to go on to game 4 and try my best to win, so let's go on to game 4 now. And uh, let's see, now I am bringing this team, the Crowdont uh, 
scissor team. And I really like this ball turn offense. This style, you know, suits me a lot. So we'll get right into this. This is Scar Flanders, uh, you know, ball leftovers Rotom. Scissor do scissor things and uh, Crown Eye. Bandit Crown Eye. Leftovers, uh, Heatran, and Specs Latios. So. I lead Landorus as he leads uh, extra roll. I decide to put Rocks up as, uh, sorry, he decides to put Rocks up as I go for the Earthquake. I am Scarfed, so I don't want him having the Rocks up because uh, on my side, um, I don't really like that. And also, more importantly, I don't want to kill him when I'm locked into Earthquake because the problem is. If I'm locked into Earthquake, this Dragonite is going to be a threat because I'm guessing he's Lumberry. So I can't just Will-O-Wisp him and then hope everything goes well. And if I. If, like, it's pretty obvious that I'm Scarf Landers outspeeding the extra drill because normal Tank Landers wouldn't outspeed the extra drill. So, either way, I can't stay in there. Um, else I pretty much just lose to set up D Knight if he comes in. So I switched out into Latias as he... I thought he would just, like, Iron Head or something. Uh, I trick here, and... Uh, sorry about that. Okay, I trick here, and the reason for this trick is because I know that he is not gonna go for something like Rocks again. He's not gonna... He might switch out, but he's probably just gonna help and sack this. So that's why I trick. Because it allows me to get the Defog off, and, uh... That's really nice. As he goes, uh, Absol. And I decide to go, uh, Scizor. Mainly because I don't want to get knocked off. That's the first part. And, uh... Keeping the Scarf on Landers is really nice because of all of the threats in this team. So, at this point, uh, you know, the Absol versus Scizor, I thought he might have Flamethrower. So I decided to go into my Landers here. As he goes into Valk, so all's working out pretty great. I decided to go for a Stone Edge, um, in case he gets greedy and sets up with Volcarona. Sacks the extra drill, which is the right play, and he goes into Superior as I go to my Heatran. Goes for a Taunt here, um, and I just go for a Magma Storm. So I was like, uh, yeah, this is all looking fine. Uh, he can, you know, do whatever he wants, but Latios is just going to come in here, and Draco Meteor is going to do a solid, like, 60, 70 ish percent, and, you know, Landris is going to come in and deal with this thing. Um, but I guess I was too uh, optimistic because I just missed and at this point I think I lost. Okay so we're back and uh, I left because I have something to do but um, we we're talking about the Kron with the Asia and uh, he has Dragon Knight out right. So I'm forced to switch out into Rotom and hope that he is uh, not Lumberry. So I decided to go for a Will-O-Wisp here as he does confirm that he is Lumberry, so I guess I was it was too good to be true. Rotom dies. Scissor comes in. I I bullet punch or something. Or roost or something like that. I don't really know. Bullet punch here, break these whatever. But at this point, it honestly doesn't matter. I do get the luck he um hurt himself in confusion. But I don't think it matters. As Apple comes in and he just wins. So that's a pretty unfortunate loss. And now let's talk about the, uh, I guess, the significance of the Draco Meteor miss on the Manaphy. And uh, I personally think that it is very, very bad. And the reason is, I could just Draco Meteor the Manaphy and then go into Landers afterwards and kill him with uh, anything like Stone Edge or U-Turn. Heck, I could even sack... Uh, U-turn, even if he doesn't die, I could sack Scizor. <clears throat> and then just go back to Landris and then U-turn again. I don't really even care, because I would have, what, Heatran, I would have Tronon, which will deal with the Volcarona. Uh, Heatran deals with the Superior. Rotom could just Volt Switch out on the Dragonite, and if I get the Intim, right, it doesn't matter for this goddamn Dragonite, because Landris Stone Edge would just destroy him. Um... <clears throat> and Landorus also helps deal with the Absolute 2, threatening with the U-turn. And Stone Edge, on Dragonite, he has no switch-ins, so he can't even do anything about that now that extra row is dead. 
So that's why I think the um, Draco Meteor mess is super duper important. Um, like, if I hit that, I think he has no chance at winning this one whatsoever. Um, yeah, he has no chance at winning this one. Um, I could even calc how much mana fee. Because I think he's, uh, maybe he's this set, I don't even know. Um, but, a Landorus Therian, Choice Scarf, you know, your turn does 20 to 24. Right, Draco Meteor from Latios. Um, let's see. Should do what? 52 to 62. So two U turns guarantee kill him, kills him. And he might not even be an all bulk invest. He could be like speed invest. And if he's speed invest, then like one Draco plus a U turn will guarantee kill him. Pretty much. Um, so I honestly think that I had this one in the back, but. The uh, unfortunately stupid ass blind ass Latios just decided to miss here. Um, I I don't know what to do, but you could argue, oh yeah, he also got the like the outrage confusion whatever shit, but that shit didn't matter. What mattered was the Draco meteor. Like one hacks doesn't equate to another hacks. It's the importance of the hacks that really matters. Um, and I think that one for sure mattered. If I hit that, game four, GGs. Three and one, and I win this tournament. So now going into game five here, as he goes with this team, um, and I, you know, I keep using this team because I really like it. Uh, I know this is uh, Infernal Thorn, Tank Shot. I think this is AB Bisharp, uh, Megalati As, Assault Vest, and um, I think this was Calm Mind. Yeah. Okay. Now let's get right into the game. He leads Torn as I lead Titar. I, lead, I know he's for sure going to lead either Torn or uh, Garchomp, so I decided to lead Titar. Because um, I'm tank and I can eat an earthquake up and threaten back with an ice beam. So that's really nice. As he goes for a U turn, I don't really give a fuck. I'm just going you know, to go for my rocks. As he goes into Garchomp, and I know he's going to put down his rocks, so I decide to ice beam here for some nice 67%. I know he's not going to Dragon Tail or some shit, so I decided to go into Skarmory as he go for the Earthquake. And I decide to go for the uh, the Spikes here. As he goes for Flamethrower, and that's why you don't run Flamethrower on Tank Chomp, you always run Fire Blast. Because Flamethrower is not going to 2-8 KO Skarmory, and that's really bad. That's, like, there's no point to it if you're not going to 2-8 KO Skarmory. <clears throat> I can just roost this all back up. I Spike, he Spikes, I Spike, he Spike. Go into Extra Drill as he goes for the... Uh, Elite Seed, um, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to spin all this away, um, and uh, that's really nice for me. He goes for Gyro Ball, which is actually a good play looking back at it. Um, I, I was like, why don't you just put down the layer of spikes? I think that would have helped you much more, but mm, the chip actually really matters a lot if you see late game. But for now, I was like, yeah, that was not a good play because now I just go in. Charizard, and you have to go into Latias. I'm gonna do some solid damage onto you. Um, like what? 31%. Really nice. I go into my T-Tar. Um, now I can pursue Trap, but for some reason, I don't know what brain cell in me. Okay, I thought he might just stay in, so Stone Edge might have done more. So that's why I didn't pursue. But I don't know why my fucking brain cell told me not to pursue, because he could just be mono storm power. I don't know what my... I don't know. This is such a dumb play. Let's watch it in slow motion. Why didn't I pursue? I don't fucking know. Why didn't I pursue? Um, and now, you know, get some, like, 31% onto club for no fucking reason. When you can have, like, have, like 90% onto, like, Latias. And then he's gonna not have any Charizard switches. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, whatever. Charizard comes back in, goes for another flank dart. As I go into my. Uh, what did I do even? I think I just went T Tar, yeah. And uh, he goes for a. He goes for a Rocks here. Um, as. As I just pick him up with the extra drill. I don't know if this... Okay, so let's break that down a bit. For one, 
I don't know if he should have even switched into the Garchomp. My reasoning for that is, I could just stay in and flame dart, um, to keep him honest and hope for a burn. Um, and he's just gonna lose his Garchomp for no reason. Okay. For two, now that his Latias is that low, Flamethrower is gonna be a gigantic threat to his team. Um, and yeah, he should never let his Latias be that low because now Charizard is gonna be a problem. And uh, I don't know, I could have just Flamethrower to keep him honest there, honestly. But to force him to lose and not let him double into anything else. But okay, whatever, he read my play. And now he goes into Garchomp, he gets Rocks up, which is really nice for him. As I go into Extra Drill, I, I don't know what I was fucking thinking here. Because if I'm so sure he's going to Rocks, why don't I just fucking pick him up with the T-Tar? Like, what was, what was I thinking? I don't fucking know, because even if I get this in, I can't fucking spin. I can't fucking spin because I'm just gonna die to the Scar Chomp. I'll enforce the Earthquake and then he just goes Bisharp and threatens me out. Like, I don't know why I'm not stupid, but whatever. So something's certainly not right with me. I guess it's... I could blame it to, like, the Man of Heat Draco Meteor miss. I was playing so bad this game, looking back at it. This is such a misplayed game. Um, On his side too, I think. I think the Latias was in part. Like, okay, let's look at this play. He switches out into Ferrothorn, which I do not get once again. I guess he was afraid of the T-Tar, but maybe he is monostore powered. I guess that's the only fucking explanation. But you have to keep your Latias healthy or you're just gonna get beaten by the Charizard. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. And I don't know why the fuck I went to Latios. That doesn't make sense. If anything, you go to fucking Caldeo and then Secret Sword something. I don't think I have a brain cell, honestly. This was such a bad play bit game. Okay, I, I know why I went Latios. Because I thought I had fucking Defog. And you know what I realized? I don't have fucking Defog. I don't have fucking Defog. I thought I could Defog all the shit away. Put start setting my rocks and spikes again. Everything would be great. But no, I don't have fucking Defog. And now I can't even go Charizard, so. God damn it. Well, what was I thinking? And now I'm in a very odd spot because I could switch out into Kelio. But I don't know. Maybe I was just thinking that maybe he thinks I'm HP Fire, so I'm just gonna Draco Meteor and destroy something. Um, I guess I'm wrong because he just stays in. Um, and then he goes for spikes. And yeah, that's really great because now Extra Drill can't even come in. I mean, Extra Drill couldn't come in regardless because of uh, all the uh, hazards, and I, even if it can come in, it cannot spin. So this is just really bad playing on my part these past few turns. I pretty much just threw away Mons, left and right. I threw away Extra Drill, I threw away Latios because it's now paralyzed, and it would have had the trick pressure without it. And uh, I don't know what, 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 what I was doing here. Um, I was just such a poorly played game. Finally, I decide to make the right play and just click uh, uh, Secret Sword because I realized that he's not going to go for a um, switch out. And because his Ferrothorn is practically dead, he can't really defog. Um, it's seeming like his Lucky Ass doesn't have defog. And, uh, no. I go into Latios here. Okay. I went into Latios here for one reason. And the reason is I wanted to Draco Meteor into Tyrantar Pursuit and kill his Tornadus. And uh, if I can kill the Tornadus, I don't think I can lose. I don't know, maybe. Maybe I could lose. Because then Bisharp comes in and it could all be very annoying and stuff like that. But as long as if my T-Tar is standing, I think he couldn't win because his Latias is monostore power. I mean, he can correct me if I'm wrong, but I legit think he's monostore power by the way he's playing. It looks like he has no way of touching T-Tar. So that being said, I think this is fine. So that's why I went for the Draco Meteor um, here. Because Draco Meteor into Pursuit will probably kill the Tornadus. So that was what I was aiming for, but um, I didn't really get it. Going to Charizard here as I probably... Like, 
there's not nothing on my team that can really kill him. I was expecting a heat wave in the last slot. Or else I would go a little skarmory, but I was expecting a heat wave here. So I decided to go into my my Charizard because I need to hope that Hurricane misses and I get the roost up. But he goes for the taunt. And uh, that's actually a really good taunt on his part because he knows I'm gonna roost. Um, and uh, he knows not to risk a 50% Hurricane. So he could just U-turn out into the Bishard. And he could just click Sucker Punch because I can't switch out. Um, because of all the rocks on my field. And um, my Charizard is practically dead. Because he is taunted, he can't roost. So that's really nice for him. I thought he was going to go for the Hurricane, but he just switches out into the Latias sack. Which I don't necessarily agree with because I feel like Latias could win in an end game if T Tart is dead. If he is mono store power. Um, if he's not mono store power, he just guarantee wins. Because I can't deal with CM. Um, so I don't know. That's just that. Following goes Bisharp as I sack uh, Extra Drill for some reason. And not the Charizard. I mean, there's no point. Maybe I was just trying to confuse him. Maybe I have. Uh, Something like, uh, maybe you have D5 on Skarn, but I don't, so whatever. Uh, okay. So let's go back. So I stack the extra drill, I go into my Skarmory. I was like, at this point, I was like, maybe Skarmory can win, because I have the Iron Head. And if I flinch the Clef enough times, I'm gonna beat the Clef. So I decided to Whirlwind here, because there's honestly no reason to go for Iron Head. And I just go for... Iron Head as I flinch him. And uh, that's really nice because uh, now his Clef just dies to another Iron Head. And now I just go for another Iron Head as um, Hernandez tanks us up and he goes for a ton. And that's not great. And because um, uh, with the taunt, I cannot really kill this Hernandez. Um, because he could Hurricane and if I Iron Head once, twice, Hurricane just, you know, wins because I'm taunted and I can't roost. Um, so that's that. So I select Charizard as I have to go t turn now. And uh, I just went for the, uh, I just went for a, sorry, I just went for the um, Stone Edge, oh sorry, the Pursuit here. And I think the reason why I went for the Pursuit instead of the Stone Edge is A, I don't want to turn out switch out. And maybe he doesn't have Flamethrower on his Clef. I think that's the first reason. And if he doesn't have Flamethrower on his Clef, there's a higher chance of me flinching him down than him beating me one-on-one. -on -one. The second reason is, if he U-turns and I pursue, my... He's gonna die, right? I think. He's gonna die, and I'm gonna die from touching the Rocky Helmet. And I like that because it just allows Skarmory back in and uh, Clefable will just die, if you get what I'm saying. Because if he U-turns out and Pursuit, um, there's a chance I just die to the Rocky Helmet because I'm going to take the U-turn plus the Rocky Helmet. And, um, you know, Skarmory would just win on the spot. So those are the two reasons why I went for Pursuit instead of Stone Edge there, even though Stone Edge might seem to cover more. And in addition to that, he's at 52%. If he switches out, he's getting more back. My Skarmory cannot handle that. If he taunts, Iron Head plus Rocky Helmet Chip is... Iron Head Chip, because of Rocky Helmet, and Hurricane is going to beat me one-on-one. -on -one. So I can't allow Tornadoes to heal back either. That's the reason why I went for Pursuit. And I think that's the right play there. Um, I cannot Stone Edge. Because if I Stone Edge, even if I catch the club, this thing is going to beat my ass up. So um, Now I go into Skarmory, and now it's a 50-50. The 50-50 is whether or not are you gonna hurricane or taunt. And uh, if he hurricanes and I go for a Iron Head, it's another 50-50. That's another hurricane or taunt situation. Uh, I decided to just go for a, her, uh, a ruse because I thought he taunted me so many times that I would learn to not go for the not taunt move. So, uh, not taunted move, so that's why I still went for the roost. As it's completely fine because I get the roost off as he U turns for some reason into the cleft. I'm at full health as I boom, uh, sorry, as I just 
Iron Head. Um, does some nice damage onto this Tornadus. He almost dies as he misses Hurricane. But at this point, it doesn't really matter because even if he hits, he's going to get taken out by the Sandstorm and Iron Head is just going to kill the Clyde. So, what did we learn? Iron Head Skarmory is the way because you deal with Yancey, you deal with uh, Kufay Moles and shit. Okay, uh, seriously though, but um, what did we learn? Uh, you know, don't tell because, you know, it's bad because, um, Tilting is bad, and uh, especially after you lost game, never try and like I need to calm down. I guess like the series of plays in the middle, those just don't make sense, and um, hopefully I never make those mistakes again. And uh, in addition to that, um, I guess think carefully. That's very important. I know these sound like dumb comments and whatever, but I don't really care. Happy Fourth of July to everyone. I won this Iron Tournament. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.